Good morning, Amir. This is your video tour of 3433 Ridge Walk in Lawrenceville. So as you walk in to the main foyer, um, you have two-story foyer. Just wanted to give you an idea and perspective of the flooring. You've got dark oak color. So as you walk in, you have about four and a half to five feet of space when you walk into the foyer area. So it's plenty of elbow room. So as you walk in and you take your immediate left, you have what would be considered a living room. You can turn this into an office if you wanted to put double doors in here, or this just can be a sitting area. And again, I'm gonna to have to make this a bit quick simply because this home is occupied. They have painted recently. It looks like agreeable gray, which you see quite a bit in this market here locally, this is a color that is quite common and it's a color that builders use. That in white for, okay. So as you go to your left, you've got your dining room. And as you can see, they put, this is a full dining room set. So, which is actually a good idea. So you can get an idea of what specifically furniture wise will fit. You have coffered ceilings, which is a nice touch. It sits eight rather comfortably. They have the leaf in the middle so you can get an idea, total idea of what the furniture looks like. So as you walk in straight, because the dining room is to your left, living room is to your right, you're gonna walk into the main family room. So I'm turning on lights as we go. So when you walk into your right, it's quite spacious. They have a decent amount of furniture. They have the fireplace. Now the fireplace is electric starter, but it is gas. The switch is on the right-hand side, as you can see. And the shelving that they have is their shelving. So just to give you an idea of what would fit in here. So I'm gonna walk it back. The floor is relatively clean. It has some scuff marks, but it looks like there's just been quite a bit of foot traffic through here. So this is an idea and perspective from the kitchen. There's a decent amount of natural light as you walk into. Okay. And this is the front perspective from the family room to the front door. And this is your kitchen. So the kitchen is very spacious. They've got a four tabletop or four seated tabletop area. Plus you can put chairs around the extended countertop for the kitchen, which is granite. And I'm going to turn on the light here too. Okay. As far as the kitchen, this is your perspective, oversized granite with the extended countertop. Again, you can probably seat three to maybe four additional chairs there. And then you've got for your breakfast area, full four seat tabletop. Uh, oversized cabinetry. Now, when they initially bought this home or when it was constructed, this would have been considered an upgrade because you have the um, oversized cabinetry. You do have the stainless steel refrigerator. It is a gas stove and the microwave. The dishwasher is on the back side next to the sink. Now the area over here, this would be considered your pantry and it is just to give you an idea of how much space they have inside the pantry itself. Okay. This is a view from the kitchen to the dining room and facing exterior as far as the foyer. Again, another perspective of the family room. I'm gonna go back and then back and to the left. And this would be when you come in through the garage, you have a walk through, walk through with your laundry room. Now go into the garage first. 
And this is the garage space. Now they are in the process of moving, so you can see they have some items in here. But I'll give you the perspective. You can fit two full-size SUVs in here. Very good garage space. Water heater should be in the back, and it's got the pressure release valve as well above the water heater, which per code is what they have to have. So the garage is very typical. It's not in good condition. It's not in bad condition. It's just your typical garage. They parked a lot of their vehicles in here, so you can see some of the areas where oil has leaked through or any of the fluids from their vehicles. This can obviously be coated if need be with a sealant. So they do have an extra refrigerator and they are using a portion above the laundry room for pantry items, for food items, because they have plenty of shelving. Okay, so as you walk in, this is slash mud room slash laundry room. And then to your left, you've got a downstairs bedroom. Here is the bathroom, cultured marble, standard vanity, tile floors, and then you have your tub and shower combination, which is a pretty standard feature for a secondary full bath. Now, as far as the bedroom is concerned on the main level, this is probably 10 by 11 or 12. It's not a big bedroom. It's a smaller bedroom. It does not have private access to the bathroom, but the bathroom is one step out to the left. So this way it allows for a main level bathroom as well as a secondary or downstairs full bath for guests if they're staying here. Full closet. Very good condition. I would probably rate this about an eight and a half to nine. There's some areas on paint where the trim isn't perfect, but all in all, just to kind of give you an example of what I'm seeing, very good job. I'm gonna walk you upstairs. Now again, as far as I'm always relating it back to what would be considered an upgrade. The hardwood floors upstairs with the wrought iron would have been considered an upgrade when this house was initially built. Plus you have wider staircase going up. You do have a stoop. And again, the paint job is about the only thing that I would give it a little bit of a downgrade. It's not in bad condition. It just looks like they try to touch up certain areas. It doesn't quite blend in perfectly. So the stairs going up, carpet, it's a little worn as I can see, but standard wear for this age. It's kind of a shag carpet. The padding underneath it is relatively good. It's in pretty good condition. So as you walk up to your right, you have wrought iron throughout. As far as the spindles are concerned, you have a huge upstairs loft area. So this loft area is equivalent to your downstairs living space. So you basically have two entertainment areas. You can make this into an office. You can make this into an upstairs theater room if you desire. Uh, as you can see, they have a TV set up here. Plenty of space. So that's your loft area. Now, as you walk the first bedroom to the left, as you walk up the stairs, they've converted it into an office. Probably 10 by 12, a standard room size with a closet. And then as you walk, this is a perspective of the two-story four you're looking down. Next bedroom to your left, after you cross the foyer, this is a bigger secondary bedroom. This is probably close to 10 by 14. Plenty of closet space to walk in. Just some scuff marks, normal wear, as far as the paint is concerned. And as you walk into your upstairs secondary bathroom, this is a rather spacious bathroom. So it's very long. It's probably 10 feet length. The width is probably about five. Single vanity, you have a linen closet when you walk into your right. Cultured marble, standard tub, and shower combo, just giving you a perspective of what it looks like, same as downstairs. But it is a very long bathroom. The width, again, is about four and a half to five feet. As you make a right through the hallway, 
your other secondary bedroom. Now, the first one that I walked into is probably the smallest. This is probably 10 by 14 as well. This is a spacious secondary bedroom. Closet is to the back left. As you make a left, the master is in the far end separated from the other bedrooms. So the only thing again that I would grade would be cosmetics. The carpet needs to be stretched in certain areas, which is not uncommon. Uh, paint and carpet, the carpet is not in bad condition, just needs to be stretched as you can see. There's some lumps in between which can be stretched out. But as far as the master, very good size master. They have a full king size bed, two nightstands. They have furniture on the flip side, and there's a small sitting area, as you can see. So I'm going to walk all the way to the sitting area and then give you the perspective of what the master looks like. Now, this room is, is a huge room. I mean, it's a very big master. It's probably, if you're looking at it, close to 20 by maybe 20 it's possible this is a big room if not bigger and i may be underestimating the size a bit but full master with a small sitting area plenty of natural light now let me give you a perspective of what it looks like as best as i can looking down across and i will get you an exterior perspective so i don't want to mess too much but this is what it looks like outside the master so as you walk in to your closet prior to walking into your master bath. This would be considered a his and hers closet. Or if you really technically want to call it a hers and hers closet. They're both about the same footprint, so it's probably four by eight. Typical closet size. Um, a little bit above average, but plenty of closet space. And I believe the one to the right is a bit bigger than the one to the left, just for clarification as you walk into the master bath um, it does have standard tile flooring soaker tub double vanities here's the soaker tub it's about four and a half five feet average size stand-up tub excuse me stand-up shower is bathroom perspective. Here is the water closet. And there is a small linen closet, as you can see. And again, I'm having to make this a bit brief just because there's quite a few people scheduled behind me. So. So I'm walking right back through the master. You have your walk-in closets to your right and to your left, respectively. Walk back to the left and out of the master. The attic is above, and I'm not gonna pull that down for the purposes right now. And then this is how the house flows, once again. Bedroom to your left, secondary bedroom in the middle, which would be for all of the additional bedrooms. And the smallest bedroom would be the first one to your left when you walk up the stairs in loft area. So I want to walk down the stairs into the backyard quickly. And let's walk. Let me give you a backyard perspective. This is your back deck. 
So it is three sides hardy plank, which is cement fiberboard. This is your backyard. Fenced in, very nice. It slopes a little down, but not much. So the swells between the yard is a good irrigation system, so the water will flow away, away from the home. But all of these backyards are quite nice, very well maintained, about as level as you're going to find. They have a back shed area over there. This is your neighbor to the right. And this is to the left. Stairs going down. So that's your backyard. I'm going to take a video of the front too.